We begin with Representative John Lewis, who died Friday night, and Shanu Her is on John Lewis Freedom Parkway, where a group gathered for a vigil earlier tonight. Yeah, Faith, all across different parts of the city today, people continued honoring Congressman John Lewis. And like you mentioned, uh, just a few hours ago, a group of people held a candlelight vigil lining uh, John Lewis Freedom Parkway here to remember him. John Lewis has just done so much for Atlanta and for the country. Standing side by side along the John Lewis Freedom Parkway in Atlanta, this group felt it was significant to be here to honor Congressman John Lewis. I've grown up here, lived here over 30 years. Like, I needed to come out and show how much we loved him and how much he'll be missed. Every candle Sunday night marks a person who will remember the Congressman's legacy. Those who are mourning Lewis extended to downtown where his 55 foot mural stands. Since Friday, the memorial there has grown and families like the Turners made it a point to stop by. And I think it is just um, of importance to educate, especially our younger generations, to know the importance of this man that passed away and his legacy. The Turner family says what Congressman Lewis fought for broke barriers and helped all communities of color. The things that they did paved the way for people of color like me to enjoy what we are enjoying now. That's why Linda Nguyen, an Asian American woman, felt the need to pay her respects Sunday night to the late congressman. She credits him for her passion in activism and speaking for equality. John Lewis had to stand up, he did, and I feel like that's what we need to do now is we need to show up to show other people that we are here for them. Speaking for the first time since Lewis's death was his younger brother, Grant Lewis. He fought until the very end. That was my big brother. And the people who honor Congressman Lewis say that fight is not stopping. It's our calling to continue to do his work and to continue to fight injustice and to um, raise our voices. Yeah, over the last few days, I've talked to activists here in Atlanta, and they tell me that they are confident they can still continue uh, John Lewis's work uh, here because they say they are inspired by his leadership style, which was to include the younger generation in what he did, and he allowed them to work alongside them. So these activists say they will continue to do his work, and they feel prepared. Yeah, he definitely left an indelible mark. Thank you so much, Sunu.